Yo, so today I'm gonna be breaking down a simple energetic melody for somebody like Yeet, and then throwing some drums on it at the end. So all the patterns in this are super simple, but I added a cool shaper box preset for some interesting variation. So we'll get to that in a second, but the sound I started off with is a lead or synth from one of Sunboy's one-shot kits called Fax. Overall, it's just a really great sound and fits the melody really well. And then here's the MIDI for this. Like I mentioned before, it's super simple. It's just this two bar pattern that just repeats for the whole eight bars. So if I go ahead and make something similar, I would start off with the bass note and then go down to this B and then down to A sharp. And then just go ahead and pitch those two up. And then you have to go ahead and figure out the top parts of the chord. So normally when you make a chord, you make a normal triad like this. But that sounds a little bit too like full and happy for these kind of melodies. So what I like to do is delete the top note and then put this down one and then up an octave. And that kind of gets the sound that we're going for. Then I went ahead and added this F sharp for some like a filler note. And then just clicked in the top notes for here, whatever really sounds right. So that's really the entire pattern. It's super simple. But then after that, I went ahead and routed it to one on the mixer, added that shaper box preset that I was talking about, which I'll put on screen now. I believe it's called the tuber preset. And then I rendered it out once with just that on it. And then the second time I rendered it out, I added halftime on the half preset and then this EQ to just clean it up a little bit and get rid of the lows. So after I made the melody and added those effects, it ends up sounding like this. So as you can hear, the shaper box preset really just carries the whole melody and all the panning stuff it does is really cool. Then for the second sound in the melody, it's another lead from one of Sunboy's one shot hits. It's the walk lead. And I just kind of use this for some little accent chords. So here's what the MIDI looks like. And it just copies the second two chords and leaving out the first one and then that little filler note there. So again, it's a super simple MIDI, but it gets the job done. So here's what it sounds like. And then on the mixer for that, I just have an EQ that boosts the highs and then an EQ that cuts the lows just to make room for an 808. And then for the next sound in the melody, it's a lead called GameCube from the Stardust Serum Bank. Just a really interesting lead and I did some like quick little rolls with it. So here's what the MIDI looks like and it just copies notes from the original MIDI, which would be F sharp and uh, F and then D sharp and A sharp. These are all just notes that appeared in the normal MIDI, but I just kind of made it into a lead pattern. And I tried to keep like the little like sweeps like nice and short and choppy just to kind of add some energy and make it a little bit more interesting and then the only variation as you can see here is i switch the d sharp to an a sharp so again i'm gonna say this a million times but super simple pattern and here's what it sounds like And then on the mixer for that, I don't have anything. And then for the next sound, it's another lead sound, but I actually made it myself. So if you want to make the same sound, you can go into analog, grab this uh, saw preset right here, and then go back into serum and add a sub on this preset and then have it be minus one octaves and turn it on mono. It's just kind of like a lead bass hit that you hear in a lot of these like Yeet or Cardi type beats. And then here's the MIDI for it. Like I mentioned before, it's just kind of like a low lead hit. So it just goes on the one and five like an open hat would, but it's just kind of like a low lead. So here's what it sounds like. So just very simple and it matches up with that first lead pattern very well. And then on the mixer for that, I have an EQ to cut the lows and then an EQ that kind of boosts the low mid, just so it still sounds really deep, but it doesn't interfere with the 808. And then for the final lead sound in this melody, it's the alter lead from the Sinju Volume 2 bank. 
I actually really like these banks and I haven't really used them a lot, but they're, I guess, like more experimental. But if you haven't checked them out, you should definitely go do so. And then here's the MIDI for this. This just copies the exact top notes of the original melody, but I did this thing here. Instead of this staying at F, it goes down to A sharp just to create some variation. And then in the second half of this, it get, just gets put up an octave. So again, super simple, but here's what it sounds like. And that melody just kind of sits in the background and sounds really nice. All right, and then for the final sound in the melody besides the bass, it's the Rewind Pluck, one of my favorite plucks from the Adapt Serum Bank. And this just kind of hits on the same notes that the chords do and just kind of accents it, makes it sound a little bit fuller. And then here's the MIDI for it. It just copies the lead pattern that I just showed you and then the root notes from the original melody. So it just makes it sound really full and gives like a nice accent to it, I guess. So here's what this sounds like. And then that just repeats in the second half. And then on the mixer for that, I just have reverb with the decay turned up a little bit. And then an EQ just to cut the lows to make sure the 808 doesn't get all muddy. And then for the last sound, which is a bass, it's the B4 bass from the Stardust Serum Bank again. And this is kind of like an 808 type bass, I guess. Overall, this has just been one of my favorite basses to use lately. And then here's the MIDI for the bass, and it just copies the root notes of the melody, of course. But in the second half, I have this D sharp pitched up an octave, and then the B pitched up an octave, just to give it a slight variation to make it sound a little bit more interesting. So here's what it sounds like. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the melody. The only other thing I added was these couple of accents. So this is just a crackle effect that I chopped up to kind of give it a little bit more bounce, I guess. And then I found a bunch of random accents and uh, spliced them together and put a flanger on it uh, just to make it sound super spacey and then added this uh, zap perk and then uh, that layers with the chord changes. So it sounds pretty cool and here's what it sounds like. So yeah, that's pretty much all the stuff that went into the melody. So here's what it sounds like when you put it all together. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out because I'm not too really good at these uh, Cardi or Yeet type melodies. But overall, it's a pretty solid melody, so now we can get started on the drums.
right, so that's going to be pretty much it for the video. I'm pretty happy with how the drums came out. They're super, like, all over the place and energetic. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. I haven't made a video in a long time, and this has taken me, like, 20 tries. But I made it to the end, so it's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Bye.